Welcome back to the channel, guys. So over the past couple hours, I've been seeing this stupid freaking tweet from KFC. People retweeting it, people adding me, people sending me messages, talking about this on Facebook all over the damn place. If there's a place you could be talking about things, people are talking about it and messaging me about this stuff. So KFC, the future fried chicken brand product development is here. Actually, it's not here. It's on Indiegogo. So these mofos... Holy crap, they are embracing Indiegogo, a corporation that makes fried chicken is peddling wares on Indiegogo, essentially. Well, there's a, quite a bit more to this. I've seen a lot of outrage. I've seen people like, I can't believe this. This corporation, they're selling these products. They're trying to fund these ridiculous things on Indiegogo. But here's the deal, man. My mind was originally blown when I discovered there was KFC buffets. All you can eat Kentucky Fried Chicken? Holy crap. But this stuff right here, my brain has the opposite of, of being blown, like imploded pretty much. But at the same time, looking at this, looking at these campaigns, this crazy weird nonsense that they're doing, it's actually kind of interesting. All it is is marketing here. None of this is serious. The people who are out there who are outraged for whatever weird reason that KFC has some stupid crap on Indiegogo, you have to realize something, it's just a joke. But we're gonna take a look at that and I'm gonna explain why it's a joke in a moment. But here we go, let's watch their little video, their little pitch, here we go. KFC Innovations Lab needs your crowdfunding support to turn our ideas into real things that you can buy. Real you like things that you guys can buy, right? So you guys know how I feel about Indiegogo, I can't stand it, but here we go. Let's see these stupid products. The little kernel location. Location tracking necktie? We designed it. Always freezes at this spot for Help me. us make it. Are you a fan of sitting and eating on cardboard? Join us. Whoa. How about a cane that changes TV channels? We invented nice. one. Do you want a hot tub that looks like a KFC bucket? Yes, yes Chances I do. are, you do. What about an ice skating show about Colonel Sanders? Support Probably the campaign not. to make it a reality. Heck, we've even got donation perks. Donation KFC perks. This Innovations Lab needs your support to, to help us turn our innovation ideas into innovation reality. E equals KFC squared. KFC Innovations Lab. So you guys heard it here. This is what they're doing, my guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at their campaign. They're multi, they got five campaigns. Picnic with the Colonel by KFC Innovations Lab. Smart Cane Remote. Little Colonel Locator. The Kentucky Fried Hot Tub, which is pretty damn funny. Kind of stupid. Colonel on Ice, Ice Skating Show. So now when you click on these things, I'm, uh, let's just, let's start with the Picnic with the Colonel. It's so obvious these things are just a joke, but what it is, it's actually kind of interesting. This day and age, these guys, doing something like that. it's got people talking about kfc people probably like holy crap let me go get me a 20 dollars fill up right or chicken little do they still got chicken little sandwiches or the remember they had grilled chicken i don't even think they have grilled chicken anymore actually i knew a guy who worked at kfc and he would always tell me like come in man i'm gonna hook you up i'm gonna hook you up with some free food you know who you are man yeah you probably don't watch my channel but dude was like yeah come on by man the dude gave me like I ordered like food and he gave me like two biscuits for free. Come on, man. That's not a freaking hookup. You know what I'm saying? But they used to have like this grilled chicken, but he, t he showed me it was just they put this like unbreaded chicken in this like heat thing on these like racks. So it just like would put the impression that they were grilled, that they weren't freaking grilled. They were just on racks like on this. But that's beside the point. Here we go. Marketing ploy here with BS bouginess products that they're not actually going to sell and i don't even know if they're going to fund these things because these are fixed goals they have to be funded by the deadline in order for kfc innovations labs to get this money so just got us talking about kfc that's all it is who the hell is gonna who's gonna pledge out of 25 of these that are available a picnic with the colonel a cardboard setup picnic table right Flat pack, easy to follow instructions. I actually see this product out of all of them being something they could easily just put together and sell. Who the hell is going to pay? If you pledge $1,020 for this, you're a freaking idiot. First off, because I don't even know if they're going to make it. But this, out of these products, this is probably the only one that they could make very easily. Um, the rest of them would just be joke products. But 
This is the easiest one they could put together, but you could read this nonsense. Flat pack, put this crap together. You get a cardboard kernel. Uh, picnic comes 10 pieces. They got all the dimensions here. Comfortably fits a family of four and a KFC $20 fill up with all the fixings. My God, all the fixings. But nobody's sitting on a cardboard freaking table. I don't care you're a big guy like me. You're going to crush this thing. If you're a freaking 50 pound kid, you're going to crush this thing. Nobody's going to be getting this. But here's what this thing really is about is these three other products. The, uh, the, the little donation perks. Uh, nobody's going to put in anything on these. If you do, you're stupid. But here we go. They got puffy stickers. What? They've got a limited edition t-shirt that says KFC Innovations on the sleeve. $50. I guarantee you this shirt. You could go to your local swap meet and get some Shockaware shirts or some freaking... Um, any any just cheap t-shirts right um there's so many brands pro club all, you get a cheap t-shirt go down the corner to the next dude who prints on t-shirts and get the same stupid white logo and only spend like 10 15 bucks man this is ridiculous maybe 20 tops right 50 dollars for a basic red ass shirt and i bet you those shock aware shirts those pro club shirts probably higher quality than whatever I was going to say something, but whatever crap this is, right? <laughs> Limited edition sweatpants for $60, dude. You go to Walmart and buy some Hanes long sleeve shirts and freaking sweats for like five bucks a pop. You're paying for the stupid logo. They're not going to become rich off of this. I mean, look at these puffy. Who cares about those too, right? It's just a marketing ploy. There's nothing to get upset about here. It's just kind of funny, interesting that they're doing this. But there are people through each one of these campaigns who are pledging for some of these items. Um, not so much the joke items. There is one that I saw people are pledging on. But people are pledging on these stupid ass shirts. Like a, a cane that you could change the TV channel. Stupid. Right? Like, this is just a joke, man. Just to get KFC's mouth, name in your mouth and hopefully a piece of chicken in your mouth at the same time, right? So, I mean, KFC with their weird, stupid advertising that they've been doing, having different actors playing the colonel. Like, I didn't, I haven't liked any of that crap. Like, Popeye's Chicken, their advertising is fine with the, 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 the lady that just like, boom, this is my chicken. This is my... Freaking spicy shrimp, whatever. Here's my biscuits. Eat this. Like, that's like, boom, showcasing the food. Just some normal woman speaking about. Makes me want to go to Popeye's Chicken. KFC's commercials just make me like, what? What, what the? F this is stupid, man. This is stupid. KFC, I think this is a desperate attempt to, to get them chickens in your mouth. Like, go there, get a $20 fill up. Maybe get one of those chicken little do they still make chicken littles like i i, I don't freaking know man but yeah. there you go somebody bid on this shirt or pledged for this shirt when you do actually um look at these because at first i was like is it possible that you can make a campaign on indiegogo that does not allow the funding to go through um now let me explain here like okay this is one of them that somebody somebody uh, seven people Want this little kernel logo? That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard of. It's got a flashing light. It's it's got a Bluetooth tracker that's uh, trackable from up to 100 feet from your phone, and you're paying 132 dollars for this crap. Ridiculous. But what I was talking about was like, holy crap, this one, 1,294 dollars already. They all have different um, goals, but the 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 thing was originally I was like, do these add up to the goal? right does it leave any leeway is it possible that they could put up items that won't equal what the goal is just to make it more of a joke where it never happens nobody gets charged but no if you do the math like on this specific one uh the ten thousand fifty dollars each one of these items that they have listed the 25 shirts the 25 sweatpants the 200 puffy stickers and the 25 stupid ass bow ties um, they equal the, the $10,050 exactly. There's no leeway. They have to sell each and every one of these items. So I'm thinking what they're banking on is like these higher priced joke items that nobody's going to pledge for them. Um, these stupid bow ties. There's people out there, man, who are like all into weird fast food restaurant collectibles. So there's going to be people who, who bid for some of this stuff. Um, but they have to sell each and every single one of these items in order for it to be funded. So, 
I don't know how likely that is to happen, maybe with a couple of them, but like once like this, I, I just don't see it. $13,000 for this, this KFC bucket that's wood fire, thermo siphoning heating technology. So like, is that really like something that's gonna work? Like, look at this dude. I could find a way to relax my sore muscles in water between the temperatures of 100 and 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Say that gives me an idea. Nice. The world. The idea. Fish. Innovations Lab. KFC was founded by Colonel Sanders when he invented the patented pressure fryer and the 11 herbs and spices. So, I'm so, taking so, that. <laughs> oh, snap, did you see that? <sighs> nice. That's better. I can just feel the tension melting away in this tastefully branded wood-fired hot tub. It features rugged craftsmanship, I just don't see how thermal this could work. siphoning heating technology, and enough backyard branding to make your neighbors hungry. Like just seeing that, there's this isn't gonna work. Is that such a thing? A wood-fired thermal siphoning heating technology for a hot tub? Like, is that a thing? I mean, there's probably gonna be people on on my comments that are like, "You're a freaking idiot, dude." Like everybody has one of these or like this technology has existed. I mean, it's not like technology. It's just wood fired thermo siphoning. Like I kind of understand the concept, but can you make a hot tub that works that way? Like without possibly burning some shit, but there you go. Three of them. Nobody's going to buy that. If you buy that, you're freaking dumb. Buy your little puffy stickers, buy your stupid cheap ass shirts. But that's all this is. It's just a marketing campaign. Um, to get people talking about KFC, to get them pieces of chicken up in your mouth, making KFC happy. So pretty interesting concept and idea of them doing this, but it speaks to the stupidness of Indiegogo. In my eyes, it's almost like they're making fun of Indiegogo because you've seen what I've had to say about Indiegogo campaigns. It's a safe haven for people who can't prove that they're making something to go take people's money to take the risk from themselves and let you put up all the risk and they don't have to prove that they're doing anything. Indiegogo's like full of scams, man. And it's happened time and time again. So I almost look at this KFC stuff like they're just making fun of Indiegogo, but I don't know if their they're marketing people are really looking at it like that, but this definitely has people talking about KFC. So there you go. Get your picnic with the Colonel Smart Cane, Little Colonel Locator, the Kentucky Fried Hot Tub with heat siphoning, technology wood fired heat siphoning technology my bad i'm not following like just because i clicked on them i'm following them oh my god but there you guys go my thoughts my opinions on this interesting awesome concept but at the same time i'm looking at it like it's commentary on the ridiculousness of crowdfunding corporation doing crowdfunding people are outraged but it's just a joke guys lighten up it's kind of funny kind of stupid there you go. Smash that like button. Make sweet ass love to that notification bell. With that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Subscribe. And boom. Let me go get some KFC. Forget that. Popeye's chicken.